In a startling revelation, a former school principal confessed to orchestrating a heinous crime, the hiring of a hitman to murder a teacher with whom he had an illicit affair. Cornelius Green, once at the helm of Car Lane Visual and Performing Arts Middle School in St. Louis, Missouri, pleaded guilty to charges of murder for hire and conspiracy to commit murder for hire, stemming from the 2016 killing of Jocelyn Peters. This egregious act, allegedly funded with school resources, has sent shockwaves through the community. According to reports by Law and Crime, Green's admission came during court proceedings, where he acknowledged his role in Peters' tragic demise. The St. Louis Circuit Attorney's Office entered into a plea agreement, stipulating that Green would face life imprisonment for the federal charges, in exchange for the dismissal of state murder charges. This agreement effectively spared Green from the death penalty, ensuring he would be held accountable for his actions while avoiding the ultimate punishment. The sordid affair between Green and Peters reportedly began in late 2015, despite Green being married to another woman at the time. Court documents revealed the existence of an ongoing romantic relationship between the principal and the teacher, shedding light on the motives behind Peter's untimely death. The revelation of Green's double life and the shocking nature of the crime have left many reeling, as the community grapples with the betrayal of trust and the implications for the educational institution. As details continue to emerge, this case serves as a stark reminder of the potential for abuse of power and the consequences of unchecked misconduct within educational settings. The tragic loss of Jocelyn Peters highlights the devastating impact of personal vendettas and misplaced loyalties, underscoring the need for transparency, accountability, and ethical leadership in our schools. In the wake of this scandal, questions abound regarding the oversight and governance of educational institutions prompting calls for reforms to prevent similar tragedies from occurring in the future. The healing process for the affected community will undoubtedly be arduous, but it is imperative that lessons are learned and meaningful action is taken to ensure the safety and well-being of students, staff, and faculty alike. As the legal proceedings unfold and justice is sought for the victim and her loved ones, the case of Cornelius Green serves as a cautionary tale, a sobering reminder of the profound consequences of betrayal and abuse of authority. May this tragedy compel us to strive for greater integrity, transparency, and accountability within our educational systems, so that incidents like these remain firmly in the realm of fiction, rather than stark reality.